Hello, hi everyone. This is Anupam. Welcome to vPower. In this, we are going to configure Identity Manager using Lifecycle Manager. So, directly jump into the Lifecycle Manager. And to create environment, in this, we are going to provide all the necessary information to start our deployment of Identity Manager. The first thing what we have chosen here is our the data center. So, since our vCenter is directly integrated, you will have your default data center information here. So basically what we are going to do out here is we are going to fill all the necessary information, whatever is necessary. The, the first thing is the administrator email address. In this, I'm just going to put my personal Gmail ID. Then we'll click next. And we'll select our identity manager to deploy. So in our case, we are just going to do a new installation, not an import. Click next and review the EULA, scroll down, select on I agree terms and condition, click on next. Now we are going to generate a certificate. So let's click on plus, add a certificate. We'll provide the name. name of the certificate make sure your CNAME is matching with the host name in my case uh, there was a mismatch but still I have I'll go with IDM organization unit OU country code location Dubai and state and I'll just keep it as Dubai length v1024 bits I'll provide the server host name from the DNS let me copy the host name of it let me paste it and without FKDN, can I provide this information? Okay, I think still, let give me an error. Let me type that IP address first. So the IP address, let me go to DNS. IP address was 193. 192.168.0.193. Let me remove the host name without FKDN. Then I think it should not be a problem. Cross validate the host name. Looks good. No, there is no issue with the host name. Okay. I'll just make sure that the host name is correct. Yeah, I think it was wrong. Let me remove without FKDN. I'm just making trying that if it takes with something. No, it does not take. And with only FKDN it's success, click on generate. So once you click on generate, your certificate will be created. Now from the drop down again, select the certificate we just created right now. Call IDM cert. Let's click on next. Now we'll provide all the necessary information. We center our cluster on the folder on which we are going to deploy. Uh, not necessary for the resource pool. We'll select the network. We'll select the data store on which to deploy. We'll select it as a thin mode. And in the bottom, you can see the content library, which we are not going to use in our case. Let's click next. Now we are going to provide all the network information like gateway. one ninety two. Dot 
Domain name marvel.com Domain search path also marvel.com We have to add a new server Click on so if you click on add new server you have to provide that information for the DNS that is marvel.com and its IP address 192.168.0.143 Click on submit Okay, it's already there as an entry. Let me click on cancel Oh, why did I click again in the same option? Let me click on edit. Server selection. Yeah, check this. I think the name convention should be even better because it looks quite confusing. I'll have an NTP. So I have, let me add a new NTP. In my case is a.pool.ndp.org. Click on submit. Okay, even this one already exists. Maybe it has taken when I was deploying my lifecycle manager. Click on this. Yeah. Click on next. It's finish. So both the entries are done. Let me click on next. Now I'm going to provide about the uh, identity manager details. Certificate is already selected, rest other information are already there. In this, what we are going to do is we are going to provide the default configuration admin username. I'll keep it as admin. Okay, we are not allowed to keep that, so I'll provide cloud admin. Install certificate. Now we are going to provide our identity manager details. It should be your identity server's actual FTDN and IP address. It's 192.168.0.192. Let me click on next. We'll run a pre-check. So pre-check takes a lot of time. In my case, I've just cut that scene and directly come where my pre-check tasks are done. So the first data validation has been done. So pre-check is running. Let's wait, wait for a couple of more seconds and this will be also done. So pre-check is taking longer time than I expected. I think it's going to be over with soon. So once it's done, we can directly go to summary and submit it. Yes. Okay. I can see there is one or more uh, validation failed. Okay. Uh, network gateway. I think I have given a wrong gateway. Let me go back to my network. So, okay, uh, this is what the issue was. Gateway I've given wrong, 0.1. Trust all information looks good. Let me click on next. Fetching product information is taking some time. All the informations are already filled. Yes, cross check, next. Again, let me run the pre-check. Rerun the pre-check. This time I'm gonna skip it and make the pre-check faster so the first pre-check data validation is done now let's wait for the other one to run yes my infrastructure validation is also done so my final pre-check is running that should also not take much time yes all the validation of the environment is done we were added to manager validation is also completed now let me click next and review the final summary looks good click on submit and you can see your workflow for lifecycle manager is there it goes all the way from stage 1 to stage 10 
it takes quite a while guys so have patience uh, just keep looking at an irregular interval and make sure this is completed successfully in my case what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just leave this for a while I'll directly skip to the end of the entire stage 10 complete so guys you can see how helpful the VMA lifecycle manager is and you come to know at what stage it is getting failed you can customize based on your requirements again Yes guys, I'll skip now and directly jump into when my it is completed stage 10. Yes, you can see all my stages are done. My entire entire installation for the identity manager is complete. Now let me go to the browser and access my identity manager. Try with my cloud admin account, which I have given permission to log in. Since I'm logging in for the first time, so it's taking more time. Now you can see that I have successfully logged into my identity manager. This is a basic overall dashboard. Uh, how many users are there? So as at this point of time, since it's a fresh new setup, it just have its own internal accounts. In the identity manager, you have a basic dashboard, users and group, catalog, identity and access management, and appliance settings with roles so these all are the basic overall services that is available in identity manager you can do a lot of other stuff with identity manager like integrating your nsx integrating your realization automation so for now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to integrate my active directory I'll click on add directory click on add active directory I'm going to use the same thing using LDAP. Let me provide the name. I'll provide the directory name is marvel.com in my case and choose as Active Directory Integrated Windows Authentication. Let me scroll down to the low. Okay, let me provide join domain name. So my domain name is marvel.com domain admin user will be vra admin this is a custom id which i have just created to integrate to active directory so i'll provide that name as admin username as vra admin password so let me now scroll down and provide the bind user details that is VRA admin at the rate marvel.com and its respective password. Let me cross validate, everything looks good. And save and next. You can see it's being connected. It's going to take time to initialize because that's gonna have to retrieve all the users and group detail since my active directory is very small I have very few limited number of users and group it's not gonna take much time now once we click next we will see the domain the domain what we have registered for let me check this and it's gonna take some time to get the domain name yes it's marvel.com let me click on next So these are the attributes what it is going to match for last name first name email address and username these are like required mandatory fields if any of these fields are not filled then you might not be able to sync the users let me click next now i have to provide the group i'm going to click on plus and find the group let me paste the DN. And click 
can find you can find 0 out of 21 in my case I'm going to select all 21 let me click on next uh, user you would like to sync specify the DNS let me click on next sync directory and since this is a first time sync it says that how many users and the group it's gonna sync so there are zero users and 21 groups now we are going to click on edit the frequency and we will set how much frequency you want to set based on your requirement in my case I'll let it be standard and click on sync directory the sync directory you can see um, there it's going to take time on the right hand side it asks for a refresher page to see the sync status so you can directly click, click on finish to see the sync status and once we click finish you can see that my 21 groups have already been synced zero users so in my case i have to make sure all the required mandatory fields are filled for the users so that all of them can be populated in my case so guys this is pretty much how uh, is identity manager and a very basic of adding a domain to my identity manager by the time i'm publishing this video i have already a video how you can integrate your nsx with your identity manager and in that i have already integrated my marvel.com domain so you can also refer that how can we integrate an nsx t using my identity manager so next video is going to be deploying virilize automation and how i'm going to integrate my virilize automation to identity manager so if you want to have more in-depth detail of identity manager i can have a separate video for those ones as well so guys don't forget to like subscribe and leave your comment and do let me know if you are looking for some other videos as well thank you guys thank you for watching